<laughs> yeah. But yeah, so we're going to move on to the next match of the evening. It is Doki and mm-hmm. Yoshinobu Kanemaru from Suzuki Gun taking on the Bullet Club's Chris Bay Ace Austin. Again, another thing where I, 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 I gushed about Chris Bay and Ace Austin already. I'm not going to do it again. But again, at least that team is wonderful. And I, and the first night I was a little eh, on Doki and uh, Yoshinobu Kanemaru. Yeah. Tonight I was, I, I got was a little I was more impressed with both these guys and mm-hmm. Kanemaru's satellite DDT, so good. But in the, in the end, spinning in Guri by Chris Bay and, and gets to, get, and then uh, Ace Ace tosses him into the cutter and Ace Austin hits the fold, gets the win and gives his team four points. Yes, yeah, so total. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, over four, <laughs> two, <laughs> four. That's total, the team. Two, yeah. four points. I mean, though. yeah, yeah. Um, I have nothing to add except for um, Kanemaru. I he's always been one of my favorite. I love Doki and Kanemaru. Uh, Kanemaru did seem at one point um, frustrated. I don't know if I'm maybe reading that wrong, but it did seem at one point he stopped selling. Um, sort throughout of yeah. the match. Yeah, but then regained his speed i don't know if something happened in that moment but that was the only thing that i noticed that was weird um the other thing the last thing doki was like a torpedo when he did his little um tope suicida there Mm -hmm. absolutely perfect i loved it yeah i'm coming around on doki i'm not gonna use the other name i don't think i'm gonna (laughs) use the other name until he pisses me off again so We'll know when you're mad. Ellie him. does something that makes me annoyed. Then you'll hear the other name. But we're going to move on to the main event of the second night of the Super Juniors. And it is my pick because three of these men I have been absolutely fans of for a while. And then Al Lindemann just boom. Like, abs- this guy's great. Just this. All it, this was funny. This was athletic. It took your heart away. It took your breath away. Like, just such a wonderful match. So, well, okay, I got a couple spots here. There is, um, where is it? Oh, here it is. Uh, the Lindemann biting the wrist of TJP, <laughs> then giving it to Alex Zane on the apron, who bites on the wrist and holds it, then gives it back to Lindemann, and he bites on the wrist. But that's where TJP reverses and gets the wrist of Al Lindemann. And Alex Zane is like facing the crowd with his hand out waiting for TJP's wrist and he, and TJP hands him Al Lindemann's wrist and he bites on Lindemann's wrist and he's he'll, he'll, he'll Lindemann start yelling. And then that's when the Zane turns around, like k- kind of looks at him and he's like, Oh no. And he lets, it lets it go. Absolutely perfect comedy. It's, it's those, those little things that it, it didn't take away from a very exciting match mm-hmm. because it, it was, it was in the early part building to when everything really picked up. And just, I absolutely thought, it, just a, a f- great, funny little spot. But it works so well to who Lindemann and Zane really are. Well, I'm finding who El Lindemann is, and it's perfect to, to who Zane is for the man I've seen over the over the last little while that I've gotten to watch him. And then there was a spot where TJP, like, sets him up with almost a star shooter, but then transitioned it into, like, it's the, the tie up for to go back for the Moodle lock, but he's just doing, he's falling to the mat and like stretching the knee of Al Lindemann. And then Alex Zane comes in and starts chopping TJP as he falls. So he's hurting his teammate. And then he'll pull TJP up and do it again. So he's hurting his teammate the entire time. And it's just, it's just funny to watch it. And then, but then TJP catches him at the end, hits a backdrop on Zane while doing the move again. And then there, I noticed that one spot, when Akira is in the ring with Lindemann and he goes over to the apron and yells at Alex Zane, he's like, and he starts yelling at him, calling him a heavyweight. So this whole, is he a junior thing continues. So, and he goes literally Akira, Akira is yelling at him, calling him heavyweight. I'm just, I was just laughing at that point. I'm like, what? <laughs> this was actually really early, but yeah, there, but all, like just, just some of the crazy stuff from these guys. Um, UE got just beautiful. If you know the moves, skull and bones from the bullet club, where it's the neck, the neck breaker and the splash combo where they did, uh, they did the neck breaker and the stomp combo off the top. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Zane does beautiful. Rana did like off of a key, like two here's in the corner. 
and Zane launches off TJP, who's kind of down in the corner, and Rana's uh, uh, cure off the top. And then does a release suplex to TJP, throwing him onto Akira, who he ends up splashing onto Akira. And then Lindemann picks up TJP and Germans his ass. Like, just... Just cut. Oh, just so, <laughs> it's just the flow of it all. Between all these men, it's just so absolutely great. Zayn with a beautiful V-trigger uh, to TJP. Uh, but Zane get, Zane gets super kicked by Akira, and then it just he close he close lines Akira down, like and then he, and then he takes out both men to the outside. Just this, just the, the moves going back and forth with all these guys. It was just phenomenal. The end of the match, Zane went for a, a, some sort of suplex, but TJP ended up turning into a victory roll and gets the win. So again, that's two matches in a row that they haven't been able to get their finisher off the Leaning Tower. That they've had to win by a victory roll or a jackknife cover. They've had to win in a very different fashion than what you usually see this team win in. I really, really liked it. I, and again, it's showing that these teams can step up and really give a challenge to the champions. I absolutely love it. Mm-hmm. And just imagine the pop that they're going to get when they finally do pull off that finish right oh god um, I, I really hope it's on it's on to togo <laughs> <laughs> just for like a little extra christmas present yeah um, the there was um one point i i just first of all gotta praise the hell out of lindemann his amateur background traditional wrestling background is just absolutely flawless but like his judo toss that he followed up immediately with a ddt just so like seamlessly was just that one where he grabs the arm and lifts the guy up behind him and then flips him over the front of him. Flings him, yeah. <sighs> That's how I think that was a setup for his win on the first uh, or at the uh, for the first win on the first night. Yeah, it was for the cinnamon really twist. Was. Yeah, just impressive. Um, also, like TJP, I just want to take a second to praise the fracking hell out of him. His style is just so amazing. The, the transitions, he is just so good at quickly and seamlessly and like almost, I don't want to say arrogantly because that would insinuate he's not nice. He does it in such a way that he's almost like he gets you to the end and be like, what, you did not see that coming? Like, but it's <laughs> in a nice way because he's so handsome. Like, I, I love it. Um, like He's a very great combination, I feel, of a traditional kind of wrestling move but the lucha style as well i i've not seen something as great since eddie guerrero so i'm gonna Um, make a mention on tjp here this man started wrestling at the age of 13 in 1998 he wrestled for new japan in the dojo early on he worked he got trained by Shawn michaels wrestling academy um worked for pro wrestling gorilla ring of honor total non-stop action wrestling uh multiple stints in new japan wwe in the cruiserweight stuff um has worked in and out of uh mexico for cmll and other companies Mm -hmm. this man has like done i think wrestled in every kind of style of professional wrestling you can think of and it's absolutely phenomenal and he is absolutely like if it wasn't for saber and will osprey this man would probably be at the top of my list He's up yeah. in that top that top five echelon now because I'm just, just insanely impressed by this man. Or I guess an MRB mm-hmm. there too. That that stops him from being in my top three. But just um, mm, <laughs> yeah. so good. you mentioning um, Akira yelling at Zane. He was actually oh excuse me. He was actually the one that I noticed the size difference the most. In, oh yeah. In that like because Akira is tiny. Yeah, Akira is very, very tiny. I mean, like, TJP is not the biggest guy, and Akira is like, small. Like, them growing. <laughs> like, like, yeah, um, like TJP is not the biggest guy, but Akira is smaller than him. So it's like, mm-hmm. holy, like the size difference between those two. And he's screaming heavyweight at him. And I'm like, kind of is. Yeah, when he's standing, anybody, I feel like I could probably be ahead. No, that's not true. He's probably as tall as I am. But like a regular human being standing next to Akira is probably a heavyweight. He seems very, very tiny. But yeah, like, very much again, so. the, the size difference, very laughable. 
<laughs> After time. the match, we didn't get a speech from the Empire, though, I noticed. I was kind of clicking through to see it. But I, I did notice. notice that also. Yeah, so maybe it was just time limits. They had to get out of the building. They had to get the people out of the building. Because as I watched the video, they got the people in the building moved out very quickly after the show. So Very organized. Yeah. I'm, I'm very intimidated about potentially going to one of these shows and being like, oh, my God, where do we go? How do we get? Just follow the person next to you and hope for the best. <laughs> just don't follow me because I'll be, it'll be in trouble. But uh, before we get we get off of this, um, Chris Bay and Ace Austin, and then Catch 22s, Francis, Francesco Kier and TJP, both with four points. Then you have Ellen Dimon and, and Alex Zane, Kevin Knight and Kushida, Teton and Bushi, Wild Hips is Clark Connors and Rescue Deguchi, Leo, Leo Wenyo, uh, and Flying Tiger, uh, all with two points. And then you have uh, du- Doki and Yoshinobu Kanemaru and the House of Torture. Crap fest um, with zero points. Whiskey sticks. Let's call uh, Yoshinobu Kanemaru and Doki whiskey sticks. <laughs> like, I have another <laughs> name in my head, but I'm not going to say it because I I don't want you to hit me. But I <laughs> want to give one, want one more. Come to this camera. I want to give one more big shout out to our sponsor, Rogue Energy, down there in the right hand corner. Scan the QR code. Use the code OLE Pods for ten percent off your order. And thank you so much to our friends at our local establishment for bringing us in on this and yeah thank you very much for Rogue energy and then i want to thank our friends at uh up there ish uh at no though that way the other way no 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 uh OLE. i'm going to OLE first uh, <laughs> uh going to our local establishment you can find them on uh instagram at OLE podcast uh on twitch where you can find us every once in a blue moon doing streams for our show um uh doing uh and on Twitch, twitch.tv slash our local establishment uh if you go back into the archives on twitch or onto the ole podcast page or youtube page you will be able to find myself joined by our good friend ed and uh our good buddy bobby talking on our, on our brand new show marvel talk to uh we are we are talking about the guardians of the galaxy holiday special that would, would have aired on twitch as if you're seeing it yesterday and yeah it was Cody Defoe, wasn't it? No, Not Cody Bobby. was on the first episode. Bobby is joining us on oh, this. Oh, right. You filmed the second one, right? This is the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, it's the Guardians one. Forever listen to Yeah, the Guardians one. Yeah. So you haven't watched it yet. That's why. <laughs> no, I haven't. Because that's actually I, in the I future. We've got all this amazing content coming out on Olay here. We got to keep up on everything coming out. We got shows coming out on a daily. So you got to keep a, an eye out on these guys. Speaking of keeping an eye out, Andre, if anybody wants to keep an eye out on you. Before we do that, I want to give one more shout out to our good buddy, Mike the Ref, over at Backbreaker, at Backbreaker Media. Uh, you can check him out on uh, YouTube, Backbreaker Video, up in the top right corner. It'll be in the description. And you can check him out on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. Every Wednesday, he does the AEW watch along. And then other days of the week, he is playing video games like heck. And it's so, and he is wonderful to watch. Great human being. Please support him. And he has this jack.org campaign mm-hmm. still going to the end of the month. If we get the $1,500, he, he is doing his just dance stream. He will do it in a panda suit. Yes, the link will so, be in the description box below because we want to see a panda. Panda dance. <laughs> so again, Andre, if people are wanting to follow you, where can they find you, my friend? You can find me on Instagram at that Canada dude, on Twitter at that Canada guy, on I guess Mastodon and whatever the other new t- social medias i'm going with at that canada guys so search me up on those um i'm ever as these all these new social medias pop up to replace twitter i'm gonna sign up just so i can get i can get the name i want <laughs> but just search I that canada guy on, the, on all the on those and then you can find me on uh facebook at andre como awesome and for this Melball, you can find me on Twitter at Collins Melball. You can find me on Instagram at Melball Collins. You can also find me on Facebook under Melball Collins. And you can find both Andre and my fan page at Andre and Melball's Wrestling Talk. We'll have all of those links linked in the description box down below. Yeah, you can see our cool logo up there. We're doing posts every day of all of our features, our shorts, and any other kind of fun stuff that we feel like talking to you about. You don't want to miss out on that. And Andre, is there anything else that we want to say to the lovely people? 
I want to say thank you to everybody who has watched the video. I want to say thank you to you, Mel Ball, for joining me here. And I want to welcome everybody back uh, this coming Wednesday. We will be reviewing uh, two nights of the uh, Stardom Tag League. And then this coming Friday, we are going to be covering four nights of the world of, well, World Tag League and Super Juniors. It's going to be four nights of wrestling, 25 matches. We will not be covering all of them. We will be pulling our, we are going to be bring, giving you two matches from each show to, that we want you, we want the highlight for you to watch. So, but there's mm-hmm. 25 matches that me and Mel are watching this weekend. So, <laughs> good times. Good time to be a wrestling fan, let me tell you. Very much so. <laughs> Well, that being said, I am your Melbal. That is your Andre. We will see you next time. Adios.